we'll talk now about the pleural effusion and its type and how to differentiate between both transudate and oxidate. Transudate is generally secondary to systemic changes or systemic disease like congestive heart failure, cirrhosis, and nephrotic syndrome. And this cause and affect the hydrostatic balance via the Starling law. Exudate causes it usually due to local cause in the pleura, around the pleura, and the most important two causes is the bacterial pneumonia and cancer. And also remember pulmonary embolism as cause of oxidative pleural effusion. And for differentiate between transudative and exudative, we use what's called lights criteria for pleural effusion. And for this criteria, we use three parameters. These three parameters are effusion over serum protein ratio, LDH in the effusion, and effusion over serum LDH ratio. And to note that in transudate, all these parameters must be present. So in the effusion serum protein ratio, it, in transudate, it will be less than 0.5, and LDH, LDH value will be less than 200 unit per liter, and effusion over serum LDH ratio less than 0.6. These parameters must be present for a fusion to be transudative. If you find only one of these, it will be makes it as exudative effusion, which is more than 0.5 in the effusion serum protein ratio, value of LDH more than 200, and ratio of effusion over serum LDH more than 0.6 in the exudative which could be bacterial, cancer, pulmonary embolism, and other causes apart from transudative cause. Hopefully it will be simplified. Thank you.